Google says it now wants to make it easier for you to know what an app is doing with your private data. Yeah, that's good. So it's not launching what's being called privacy nutrition labels, joining companies like Apple in this privacy transparency effort. Consumer investigator Steve Sprache is digging deeper into how this new security information is going to affect you. When you choose something to eat, you can find more about it like this. By using the nutrition labels, they tell you a lot about the food that you're about to consume. Now, Google and Apple are about to do much the same thing as they show you how to deal with privacy on your phone. Do you ever check the permissions on the app for privacy and so forth? Not very often. Why not? I don't know. I guess time. Who has the time or understanding, right? Tech giant Google wants to make it easier to understand creating so-called nutrition labels on its app page. So, like in the case of TikTok, you can see exactly what information the app is taking from you. Basically enhance privacy settings for consumers. So we're introducing the app privacy report. Apple led the way a few months ago mandating apps in its store show how they use your data. Now, Google has joined with its Play Store mandate. Is this causing friction with vendors? Yeah, I think it's actually uh, putting a big damper effect on certain vendors, um, making it more difficult for them to do business. Google says the changes will not only show what data is being collected and for what purpose, but will also show if it's being shared with third parties. It will also show whether the app follows policies to protect children and whether the app has validated its security practices against a global standard. I showed the actual privacy labels to Liz Mordecai. What are you thinking? I'm, I'm glad they're doing that. You know, um, the more transparency, the better, making it easier to understand. Google has given developers till July 20th to make sure that they comply with its new privacy mandates. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprasia. All right, Steve, thank you.